couldn't be a greater subject to have. You know? It just seems to be like it was built for me. Look at this. I think it's a beautiful sea. I was very struck this morning that it has sort of a tone of an aftermath in it, especially when the tide's gone out. Everything that has been left. And at the same time, we're looking over there to a power station. It, it, it's a it's a strange kind of beauty, isn't it? Well, I suppose so. I mean, all beauty is a bit strange. Well, that's all beauty is surprising. Well, what do you mean? Do you mean a sort of loveliness isn't there? I think that's yes. true. Yes. Uh, loveliness, I don't think I would find terribly interesting, you know? Would you? No, I don't think no. I'd find loveliness. It is, it, I mean, beauty for me, oh, the visual, nice visual beauty is always to do with a kind of exhilaration. I like what man does, I like what people do, I like the way that people interact with things. I like it when they build a new cafe or I can go and sit there and make new drawings. I like it, all the stuff they put up around, all the new lampposts, the new uh, jetties. They're always rebuilding these overflows, you know, and those things, all oh, these are beautiful. It strikes me that there's a, a, a theatrical note about it. Is there an element of the beach as a stage for you, do you think? It's pure theatre the entire time. You've got to remember the tide is obviously going in and out twice a day. So it's changing continuously. I mean, one moment from my window, it is uh, just sea. Another day, it's pulled right back, and you've just got this dazzling thing with people going down the road, people out here. Yeah, theatre, continuous theatre. You know, the curtain has been drawn four times a day. Someone who works in light, this must be an incredible landscape to work in. I mean, I was very aware that just as we walked down the beach, the quality of the light was changing. Light, it has to be at the core of painting. I mean, it's all we've got, isn't it? All we've got is light being reflected from up there onto different surfaces, hitting the retina, and then we've got to process that and find some way of making images about it. So when you've got light that is so continuously bouncing backwards and forwards, when you've got light that is you know, encompassing everything and drawing the eye. How could you not be a painter standing among that? Line? 